Hey what's up guys this is the base and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the Linux OS 16 or Linux Android Pie on Mi A1. So first of all let me show you the device I'm using is Mi A1 which is running on the Android version 9 which is having a AOSP based Android Pie ROM. So first of all you have to unlock the bootloader of your device and to unlock bootloader go to system then go to about phone and find build number and tap 7 times on the build number you will get the developer option enable under the system settings then go to developer option and find OEM unlocking and USB debugging and enable both of them. In my case OEM unlocking is already enabled because my bootloader is already unlocked but in your case if it is not enabled then just enable it. And once you enable just press volume down and power button together to boot your device in fast boot mode. So once your device is in fast boot mode just leave your device connected to a computer by a USB cable then go to link in the description and download all these files. So once you download all this file copy all this file in uh, same folder anywhere on your computer. And if you haven't installed the ADV driver on your PC then also go to link in the description and download and install ADV driver on your PC. I already installed it so I'm not gonna install it again. So once you're done with that what you need to do you just need to open command prompt in your computer. I recommend you to open command prompt in the same directory where all these files are. You can open command prompt by going to address bar and type cmd and hit enter. So once you are in command prompt just type fastboot space oem space unlock it will unlock the bootloader of your device and also make sure that you already take a backup of all your important data because you're gonna lose all your data from your mobile in this process so i recommend you to take backup of all your important data so once you're done with that the next step that you have to do you have to boot your device in recovery mode so to boot it just type fastboot space boot space recovery dot img. Make sure that you are in same directory where your recovery image is. So this command will boot your device into TWRP recovery. So once your mobile is in a TWRP recovery just allow for all modification then go to wipe then go to advanced wipe. Check this Delvik system data and internal storage is optional but I recommend you to select it. Once you select all of them just simply swap this button left to right it will wipe everything from your device. Now once you're done go to home menu of TWRP recovery and leave your device connected to your PC. Now go to your PC then go to internal storage of your device and just copy all this file that I'm copying. You just have to copy ROM file, open GApps and TWRP installer. So once you copy all of them, now go to TWRP again. Now go to install, select your lineage OS file. Then swipe this button left to right to flash it. And it might take up to 5 minutes. So wait until it's done. Once it's done, go back to home menu of TWRP recovery, go to install. Now this time select TWRP installer. And swap this button left to right and it will install the TWRP recovery on your device. Once it's done, go to home menu of TWRP recovery, go to reboot, then click on recovery and swap this button left to right and it will boot your device again in TWRP recovery. So once the device in TWRP recovery, it will ask you to allow modification, just allow it, then again go to install and this time just select open GApps and flash it. Once it's done, just simply click on reboot, then click on do not install. And it will boot your device in Linux OS 16, which is Android Pie. So once your device boots up, simply set up everything and now let me give you a quick review and also let me fix some of the bugs of this room. Actually I'm not gonna fix uh, all these bugs but I'm gonna show you some solution for that. So here you can see that this room is running on Android 9 which is having a 5 August of security patch and if you talk about errors or bugs with this room 
everything is working fine except the stock camera application so now to fix a stock camera application you need to install mi a2 camera or mi a1 dual camera or you can also install google camera if you talk about stock camera of the lineage os which is not working perfectly it just clicks uh, some green specs now to fix all these errors what you need to do you just need to boot your device in tawrp recovery by pressing volume up and power button together once you are in TWRP recovery, you just have to go to install and select this magisk file and flash it. You can download this magisk 16.7 zip file from the link in the description of video. Now once it's done, simply click on reboot and it will reboot your device. So once your device boots up, you will get new application that is magisk manager and if it asks for update, then simply update it. Now go to link in the description and download these two files. One of them is Pi Navigation Bar and the second one is Mi A2 Camera. Now let me make one thing very clear. If you install Pi Navigation Bar, it will stop your Volti and some other calling features. So I will not recommend you to flash this Pi Navigation Bar. But if you still want, I'm gonna show you. So once you download both of them, go to Magic Manager, swipe from the left, Go to modules, select whatever the modules you want to flash. I will not recommend you to flash this by navigation bar, but unfortunately if you flash this by navigation bar, then don't worry, you can roll back these changes. You just have to do, you just have to remove this magic module from your device. So here I flash both of them and once you reboot your device, you will get by navigation bar unit device and you will also get MIA2 camera. Now wait and watch this video till end because we still have to fix few other errors. So once your device rebooted, if you try to open this camera application, it will not open easily. So what you need to do, you just have to go to app info, then go to permission and grant all the permission. Now open camera app again, now here you will get MIA2 camera, which is working fine. But there is no portrait option or AI option is available with this camera. Now to get this portrait mode and AI option, what you need to do, you just have to go to link in the description again and download and install this MI A2 camera experimental or camera A2 experimental file. So once you download this file on your device, what you need to do, you just have to go to Magisk. Now sorry from the left and go to modules, then click on this add button and select camera A2 experimental file. And once it flash, just simply click on reboot. Now once your device is rebooted, go to this camera again and here you will get AI mode and the portrait mode this MI A2 camera. Now if you want, you can also install Google camera with this room. I'll put the APK file in the description below. Now at last, only thing is remaining that is Pi navigation bar. Now to get it, just flash that magic model that we already flashed earlier and what you need to do you just have to go to setting then go to system setting and you will get a gesture option and just enable this pi navigation bar and you will get pi navigation bar so that's it for this video i hope you like it don't forget to do subscribe and also hit the bell icon to get notification about all of future videos and this is the page signing out meet you soon in my next video